Um, I doubt it. Yeah, they shut it off, and there's a number of other reasons I don't really want to get into right now. I said there's a number of other reasons I don't really want to get into right now. Yeah, they're scattered. Man. Everybody's scattering. I don't know. I guess I gotta, I gotta like walk back in and find him. Here he is. He's right here. There he is. That's a. I mean, that's a cop. He's going. He's leaving. No, he just he just went away. I mean, either that was a cop. It's hard, hard to tell. They're actually here in police cars. Like some people are leaving in police cars. I mean, so who knows who's at the party and who's a police officer? Yeah, these are PG County cops. I mean, I can't walk back into them, man. I can't do it. There's just too many people. Go to the closest police station. Okay. Hang on a second. Um, yeah, I was uh, reporting party on assault on Old Largo Road at the FOP headquarters, and no police have showed up, and I'm getting a little bit uncomfortable because they're. Um, I don't think I can remain here any longer without putting myself in danger. Can you tell me? It's on Old Largo Road at FOP headquarters. And um, can you tell me where the closest police station is so I can just go there and make the report there? Hey, um, hang on one second. I might be getting a call right now. Just hold on. Hold on. Hello? Yes, this is Mr. Slate. I'm actually on Old Largo Road, right, right by the entrance of the FOP Lodge, right where the big sign is. I can't tell because there are actually some of the officers that are, are there in police cars. Like, there are police cars here. Alright, tell them that, that I, they can meet me right by the front, by the FOP sign. I'm not, I mean, there's just so many people there that I'm really uncomfortable going back inside. I'm, I'm, I'm... I'm walking to the sign right now. I can see the sign. I'm like I'm like ten feet away. All right. Okay, please do that because I'm I'm a little scared. If I don't want I definitely do not want to get hurt out here. I should be illuminated. I'm standing right next to the sign. There's like pretty much no way that they can miss me. Are they in marked cars or? Okay, because they're they're marked cars here. 
Um, all right, there's somebody, but he's not in a marked car. He's in like a red Grand Prix, like an older model. He's in uniform. Okay, he wasn't at this party, was he? Before? Oh, uh, okay. Okay. How you doing? How you doing, sir? How can uh, I help you? One second. Uh, are you supervisor? Uh, one of. How can I help okay, you? Okay, I was assaulted by what some uh, police officers in here, some drunk police officers in here. Ex Who are you talking to now? Uh, I was getting off the phone with 911. Okay, explain what happened. Um, they grabbed me inside the bar. They it, grabbed me inside the... Uh, is the camera on? It is. Okay, they grabbed me inside the bar and what? Um, they grabbed me inside the bar and um, I told them that I wanted to leave. They let me go. I came outside. The guy followed me out. He turn the camera off while we're talking. I mean, it, 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 okay, I'm a little, I'm a little concerned. I'd rather not. Do I have to turn the camera? Pay attention to me. That's okay. just unnecessary. Just turn it off. So okay, there's off. other cameras running, just so you know. So I can turn this one can off. Can you but turn the camera off? I can't please? turn all of them off. Turn, okay, at least turn that one off. Okay, there you go. Okay, now explain what's going on again. Okay, they grabbed me inside the bar. Okay. And I told them that I was going to leave. They blocked my way. I came outside, and um, as I was walking through the parking lot, the airport, turn the camera off. Put the camera down. Do whatever you got to do, but just the get that away from me. There it is. The camera's on my side. Okay. Okay. I, I feel like you're a little agitated and more concerned about the camera no, than you are about my complaint. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I just okay. don't want to be interviewed on the I'm camera. I'm not interviewing you. I'm, I'm trying to give you an assault report. Okay. Explain. So you were downstairs at the at, at, at the lodge party. Right. They started grabbing me, pulling on my arms. I got away from them. I came out into the parking lot. The guy starts screaming at me to stop. He grabs me from behind, throws me down on a car hits my head on the uh, hood of the car, okay. starts ripping my equipment off underneath my clothes. Equipment? Equipment, yes, hidden camera have, equipment. What do you have under your clothes? Well, right now I don't have, I have, um, I have a strap. Unbuckle your jacket. Sure. Would you like for me to finish describing the assault, or you want me to unbuckle well, my jacket? I mean, why, when you say you have equipment on right now, sure. I just want to make sure you don't have any weapons I'm not armed. on me. I don't know this. Okay, well, I'm telling you that I'm not. And I'm, and I'm buckling my shirt right now. I see. Why do you have hidden camera equipment on? I'm an investigative journalist. Wow. Okay. There you go. You can see uh, it's a belt with a battery pack and an empty strap case. And there's some cords there that go back to a hidden camera. All right. On top of your head, right? You want my hands on top of my head? Exactly. Okay. I don't have any coffee. How much have you had to drink? I haven't had any coffee. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, you're here talking to me and you're telling me the truth about what happened with respect to the assault. Correct. But, but, Correct. but what I want you to do is, is that, what is that microphone? That is a camera. Oh, okay. What I want you to do is, I mean, if you're telling me the truth about what happened with the assault, uh -huh. I need for you to tell me the truth about how much you've had to drink tonight. And, okay. Don't tell me you didn't have anything. Okay, I just told you that I didn't have anything. I'm here working. I didn't have anything. The guys that uh, grabbed me and threw me against the hood of the car probably had about 10 jello shots and another five beers that I saw. Hey, you know, I'm only asking because I smell an odor. Well, I just came out of, out of the bar, so. Okay, well, okay. Uh, you, know, you said that they were police officers that did this. That's what they told me. Okay, did you know, did you, when you had them on camera, do you know who they were or, or how does that play out? Uh, yeah, I know who they are. One of them was named Chris, and um, I can probably identify him. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is, I mean, I'm going to give you some steps to take. Okay. All right. In which you can make a complaint with the internal okay. affairs. What about a criminal complaint for assault right now? Yeah, I'm at the uh, sign that says for terminal order, please. Are we coming up? I'll get your information, okay. and I will write a report and give you a case number, but I'm going to, a um, better way to follow this up would be for you to make your complaint also with the internal affairs. Okay. okay, but you'll generate a criminal a criminal yeah. incident report as well. Yes, I will. Okay, I appreciate that. Oh. Sure. Give me a second, okay? All right, no problem. Where's your vehicle? My vehicle's up there. Way up there. Yeah. And, 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 and who do you work for? I work for, I'm a freelance. Freelance? Mm -hmm. Okay, sit tight.
to attack them? Okay. Um, I'll put you on the phone. Can you report? Oh, it's straight up, no joke. I had nothing. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, officer. I have my supervisor on the phone. He'd like to speak to him. He'd like to speak to you. He's over here helping. I'm Percy. I'm the president of the lodge here. Ah, uh, okay, Percy. I'm the president of the lodge here. Remember. Okay. Just, just, just trying to find out what, what happened. Yeah. What, 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 I was one. assaulted in the parking lot. Okay, by, you know who it was? Uh, I believe one of the officers' name was Chris. I can pick him out. Okay, that's fine. White guy, black guy? White guy. What did he do to you? I mean, he he grabbed assaulted. me in the parking lot, threw me up against the hood of a car, um, jabbed me in the ribs a couple times, started ripping my clothes off, grabbed my clothes. Did you equipment. have the camera inside the party? I'm sorry? Did you have the camera inside? Not this. I have a, a digital video recorder that was hooked to my hidden camera. And now, who are you? My name's Greg Slate. And this is a private Greg, party. Greg Slate? I was, I was invited. By whom? By whom? Um, I, I'm a journalist. I'm not going to get into any of that right now. But who, I who do you work for? Invited. I work for the Police Complaint Center in Washington, D.C. Okay. Okay. And I'll give you my card before you go. Okay, that's fine. You can, you, you can hang up from your supervisor. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take Is that who that is, your supervisor? Yes, yeah, we're going to um, try to get this. Tell them we'll... Call them back. We're gonna try to get to the bottom of it. Okay, they want me to call you back, so just uh, I'll call you back. All right. All right. I and the reason I asked you who invited you, and who got, who, how you got in, sure. is because I'm aware of all the legal legal implications. We've had conversations. No, 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 no. It's not legal. Okay. Not legal. If somebody invited you, you're more than welcome to join us. It's right. a private party. I want to know who invited you mm -hmm. to make sure it's legitimate. Sure. So that's all. Yeah. That's do you fine. know? Do you know who it was? I absolutely do. Okay, who was that? I'm not going to say right now. And I, I really don't, like, at the point that I was assaulted on this man's property, I'm trying to engage with on-duty police officers okay. at this point. Absolutely, so. absolutely. I don't want to interfere with that. Sure, absolutely. So just so you know that. Definitely. Okay. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it. If I can assist these officers with their investigation, if I can find out who that officer was, sure. I'll bring them out so you can identify that person. Okay. You have, I'll tell you what. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Do what you got to do. Let me give you my card. Do you want my identification? Yeah. So what were you video recording? I'm sorry? What were you recording? Uh, something for our story. Here you go. Thanks, man. Take that to your boss. All right. Do you know who the officer was who uh, you encountered? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have him on tape. Assault. Explain. Walk me through it. I was standing inside there. With your camera running. Okay. Uh -huh. um, a guy asked me what was on my back. I said I didn't really want to talk about it. So you're in a police away. facility with something under your clothing? I'm oh, in a yeah. private yes. establishment. That's, that's the fraternal order of police. 
Right, is that like a police station? Sort of, sort of, sort of, sort of, kind of, sort of. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll hold up. I got you, good. Do, you, do your interview. Describe the person again. Um, he's taller than me, white male, short hair. Taller than you, I told you. Probably, I'm about 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, you said short hair? Yeah, short hair. What else? Um, in terms of uh, physical features, yeah. I think I would have a lot of women with facial hair, probably in their 30s. I believe his name is Chris. So you guys had words at all? Yeah. Did he ask you to leave or anything like that? No. I asked him if he was blocking my way, because he was blocking my way for a while. And um, then he said that he wasn't, and he let me go. Okay. Um, I walked up the stairs, exited the building. Okay in the parking lot. He goes, come back here. Listen to me. You better listen to me right now. I said, are you a police officer? He says, yes. He grabbed me from behind, throws me into the car. I said, am I ready to be pain? He says, yes. I okay. told my assistant to make the call. Okay. She made the call. Where's your assistant? I'm sorry? Where? You will head her on text or something? Your assistant? Was she at the park? Um, I don't think she's on scene anymore. Okay. Um, grabbed my equipment, threw it down. Uh -huh. um, as you call, it was a camera? It was a deck. It was a deck. Uh, um, and uh, as she was making the call, I turned around and they were gone. They went back into the locker room. Did he strike you or anything? Yeah, he struck me in the ribs. He punched you in the ribs? Yes, two times. Do you need a doctor, sir? No, I'm right. Do I need the fire department to come and check on you? I don't think so. I have no did, he, did he show you any kind of ID or anything? No. Okay. He just said he was a policeman. Right. Is anybody else with him? Uh, yeah, there was another guy with him. He was Black about guy, white, guy. white guy, about my height, facial hair, backwards hat. I believe um, I can give you a description of the. Uh, I'll go back to my tapes. And, and what did he pictures. do? Um, he was one of the guys that was blocking my way for a minute, and then he said, "No, I'm not blocking your way, and let me go." He didn't come out into the parking lot. Oh, so all this happened in the parking lot. It didn't happen inside. It started inside when they started grabbing me, and then I was trying to leave. They blocked me for a while. When I got into the parking lot, it all happened. Then why were they? Show. Why were they making you? Stay. I mean, you were leaving, so oh, why were they? Why were they detaining you? Why were they? Yeah, I That's mean, a good every, question. You probably well, have to ask them. Yeah, but there's something. I think that, they wanted to know what I had and what I was doing there. Well, I mean, there's something that happened. Uh -huh. There's something that occurred to, I guess, bring their attention to sure, you. Sure, he saw that. He saw this uh, one in my back. In your coat. Right. He saw a bulge in your coat, uh -huh. and, and he told you to stop. No, he asked me what it was. I mean, there's a place full of police officers with bulges in their coat. Okay. So why would that alarm them? Probably because I wasn't explaining anything and they didn't know me. But I can't, I can't explain their actions. Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? What's up, bud? What's up, player? 1013 code. Now, I'm going to ask you again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you that. 71. So the smell of alcohol beverage that's on your clothes is probably from them talking to someone? That's according to you. I don't smell alcohol. That's according to you. That's what you're saying. Okay. But what time this happened tonight? Um, about how long after? I mean, how, how, how long after it happened did you call? About, I mean, it was happening when the telephone call was made. So probably within a minute of the time when the call was made. What did they break? Um, a digital video recorder. Do you have it with you? I'll have to recover that in my system. You have to recover. Okay, you have to get it from your system. Correct. Okay. Well, um, whatever condition is in right now, I can't examine it. I cannot examine it to, to uh, say that that's what they damaged because it's not here. No. Um, uh, so, I mean, whatever going there, I mean, it would be definitely help you out. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to give you a telephone number uh, to contact the Internal Affairs Division. Okay. And I do uh, have a, a lieutenant coming up. Uh -huh. where, you, where you can make your, make a uh, more formal complaint, but this this is an incident report. It's, it's going to get to the lieutenant. Okay. And, um, and just so you're aware, this is a party for, private party for police officers, so public yes. safety employees, states attorneys, corrections, sheriffs, fire, so and so... The person who you encountered may be a person towards county police officer. They could be a correction, sheriff, fire, whoever it was. So just you aware of that. Like I said, you've, you've got my card. Um, if you need anything from me or... Um, 
support from Mr. Schley. Okay, appreciate that. I'm listening to you, sir. I'm going to go back inside. Uh, you got it, sir. Thank you. All right, sir. All right. Yes. You see your vehicle that way? Right. Uh, we, yeah, we're going to give you a case number, and then you can go ahead and leave, okay? Hey, okay. Uh, Percy, before you leave, this, you said this is private property? I was a private property. Invitation only. They want to say they want to get me to report for yeah, we're trying to get that. So who invited you to the party, sir? I ran out say at this point. Where you park? Let me get hold of that business card he gave me. Sure. That's his business card. Yeah. Okay, are you getting all this? My friend. Okay, all right, all right, thanks. Just stay on it. All right, thanks. This is the case number 07293-0139. Okay. The phone number to the Internal Affairs Division is 301-856-2660. Uh -huh. All right, appreciate all right, that. I'm about to actually leave the property now, okay? okay. I'll be taping this. I think you can just go over and ask us if we can retake or whatever. Um, yeah. Come on, man. Didn't respond to that yet. Well, I don't think so. I mean, if you, if you think that that's if you stand back and Okay. <coughs> Were you guys able to hear them on the police phone? On the police loudspeaker? Okay. Yeah, I, I hear that louder. Alright. Yeah, I'm standing by for the camera now. Actually. Right. Whatever, Jacob. Whatever, Jacob. What kind of story are you running? I thought that was the same thing. Really? I'm sorry? What kind of story are you running? I mean, I think you could imagine. No. I, I'm not allowed. I'm, no, I, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to imagine. I'm I not mean, in any position to really tell you that. I mean, you just told us with your actions and your cameras and I stuff. I mean, you're at a private function. At now, I'm angry, angry. Understand me yeah. as... As an officer, okay. but then understand me as a citizen. Okay. And you understand me as just a person. You know what right. I'm you have a private function. Uh huh. Where where there's public equipment in use. There's you public equipment in use. Public equipment such as. In terms as of marked police cars. You have a private function where. This is, this is a where county. there are public officials. Hold on. This is, yeah. a, this is a county where we have a personal car program. So. so Drive their cruisers throughout the county sure. on a daily basis, and I and I would be concerned if they were driving those cruisers in packs of and I would think that I would think that the yeah. public would be, I would and be I would think that, that I, police I, officers as well would be. I would be very concerned as well, but but intoxicated and I don't know if that's one thing, but but if a person has a drink, a drink, or maybe even two drinks, if a grown man has two drinks. And you are not a doctor. And you're probably not going to be under the influence to the point where uh, he can't operate a vehicle. And I, and I would suggest that the point is a retail shooter, and um, we have the ability to document um, precisely what someone is consuming, that that would all be bared out. And, um, and I'm This is like this in depth, like 2020 type thing. How long have you been on recording? Um, I've been doing this for about 10 years. I went to the University of Maryland. Robert, 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 Last name's gonna be Lincoln, Adam, Sam, Henry, Lincoln, Edward Young. So I've got a plane for evidence, so, so, so yeah. Adam. 
Yeah, the bird is going to be seven. Yeah, stuff like this. Yeah, Hard enough trying to do this job. Yeah, the bird is going to be eight, eighteen, nineteen, eighty-six, number one now. Out. Oh, Alexander should be coming. Oh, y'all about to get a uh, Jack Jackson. Jackson. Right? Jackie, you know what I'm saying? Her days, man. I think I see it. She got the count on. Yeah. See how much I Really? Yeah. Wow. Man, that used to be roommates, man. Who's in the car? I'm going to walk in there. Boy, you can't shake that, can you? You can't shake it at all. I'm going to be a journalist, man. That's my next caller. It doesn't pay that much. Well, I know it'd be my, my moral obligation. Wow. I report it. Wow. I answered that she went. I answered that she went first place in the uh, costume department. <laughs> <laughs> the one in my business, man. I don't know. I, I try to, you know, mind my business. Ma'am, come down at a signal 18 at 860 Margo Center Drive. One about an hour over the name.
locked in. Yeah, you can give me a number from a car right there. I'm right here.
Hey, do you have... All right, I'm just waiting. They're talking to their supervisor right now. Did you did you hear the guy on the loudspeaker in the police car, drunk, saying, move, bitch, get out the way, get out the way, on in the police car as you left? Oh, we got it. We got it, yeah. Two police cruisers. Yeah, they were hammered. They were at the event. They left. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I should definitely have that. I mean, I probably can't. I don't know if I can identify the car, but I mean, like, his voice should be pretty, be pretty clear. And it's you can see the police cars and all that stuff. So. I don't think he wants, yeah, 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 I got you, all right. It's in my hand right now. They're all, I mean, but like, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. Like, getting a little heavy. I think they might be working, uh, recording. I told them, I told them she wasn't on the scene. I don't know if she left or not, but I think she's in the car. Yeah. And that's like, I can't deal with that. <laughs> What'd you say? Okay. All right. Well, chill out. I'm gonna ask him if I can go because I think it's just time for me to go. Unless I'm being detained or whatever, I'm gonna ask him. That. All right. Okay. Hold on. Hey guys. Excuse me, officers. Can I can I go ahead and get out of here or? No, sir, we'll, we'll get right speak to you in one sec. Okay. Just hang on one sec. Now. All right. Hey, sir, how are you? Pretty good, how about you? All right. Sergeant Alexander. I'm Greg Slate. Nice to meet you. Currently the on-duty supervisor tonight. It's rough. Will we start? Are you recording me right now? I, got, I, have, I do have recorders on. All right, well, I don't want you to record me on audio. Okay. So you don't have my permission, so if you got them on, I'd like you to turn it off. Okay. You guys... You guys got that? All right, so I'm gonna just do it on your okay. So I'm, I think I got the basic, at least from their side of the story. Can you explain to me what you got going on tonight? Sure, I was inside the, um, the lodge there. I right. was uh, confronted by some, uh, some gentlemen that wanted to know what was on my back. They saw a bulge in my back. I said I didn't really want to talk about it. I tried to leave at that point. At that point, they grabbed me, pulled me back over to them, or one gentleman did. I asked them to let me go. Um, as I tried to, to leave, they got in front of me, blocked my way. Um, as I asked them if they were going to continue to block me in, one guy moved out of the way, let me, let me proceed. I walked up the steps out into the parking lot. At that point, I was followed out by um, another individual who... Um, he grabbed me from behind, he starts screaming at me, you better stop, you better stop right there. He grabs me from behind, throws me onto the hood of a car, and I may not still be there. Um, starts ripping my clothes off, jabs me several times in the ribs, in, the, in this side. Um, pulls out my equipment. Um, at that point I told my um, I told my assistant to make the call. And um, she uh, she made two telephone calls and one to 911. And, um, threw my equipment down on the ground as she was calling 911. I thought they were still behind me. Uh, she handed me the phone and I began to read the 911. I turned around and they walked back into the park. So do you have some or all of this on video? I, there would be no way for me to know at this point. But I imagine that considering uh, that there's some... There's I mean, some you have a video thing. camera in your hand. It's not on that video camera? It, no, this was, it was not a video camera. It was a digital video recorder. A body one digital video recorder. So there's no way to access that video? That's what I'm doing. Not for me right now. And your assistant, was there anybody else with you besides your assistant? Um, my assistant was physically there, and I have, I'm assisted by other people in the area. Did 
that's what I'm getting at. I'm trying to figure out who was witness to the... Sure, my assistant. Just one person. Um, I would say I'd have to talk to everybody else. If there was other people in the parking lot at that time, I, I really couldn't tell you. I'm only able to do so many things at once. I'd have to talk to my people and determine that. But there may have been other people um, with me in the parking lot at that time. Are they here now? Um, yeah, not, in a, not on that property. I do have people in the area. I couldn't tell you exactly where they are. You're They're giving mine. me generalities here. I, 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 I can't speak for other people. I can speak for what I okay, saw, what so happened to me. Are these people close enough that they can come here now? I can get their information. I can get their version of the story. Um, I doubt it. I doubt that they would do that. Are you willing to give it a try? Sure, absolutely. No. You understand, the more we know, the better. Absolutely. Okay. Hey, D. Um, will you guys come down here and talk to them? Or I'll go meet them. Or let them meet you? Uh-huh. Okay, sure. Um, they'll, they'll, I have um, my staff to talk to whoever wants to speak to them right now. Uh, we'd like to talk to them. Physically okay, well, I'm trying to, like, hand you the phone so you can negotiate that or do whatever oh, okay. you want to do. I mean, you have to speak to them. About How you doing? Hello? Yes, sir, I can. This is Corporal Murphy. Okay. Well, what's your last name, sir? S L A T E. I, I'm getting most of what you're saying. What's your uh, first name? Did your, uh, did your friend tell you what we're trying to do is get together with you? Is that a possibility? <coughs> Are you a friend? Or I'm sorry, give it to me. Give me some shot in the dark or not? O R Y. Gregory. I just like this spell. You got a middle name? Alan, A L L. Uh, I got a what command a level four person here. Good. And what's the home address for you? Um, you guys can reach me at 1220 L Street, Northwest, Suite 100 164. That's Washington, D.C. 2005. Okay, can, can I just cut you off real quick here? That's it. Uh, yeah, we take it very seriously, too. We're trying, not trying to... What's a home phone number? I only have a cell know, in an office. The cell is zero two. Three, five, I, I don't know what kind of impression you have. Six, this. four, zero, six. Well, obviously, you understand the more office. information we have, there, go ahead. the better. Two, five, oh, three, four, nine, nine. What's the name of the place you work? Oh, Princeton Plain Center. How long ago did this happen? I can absolutely guarantee you it will be much better. And I, I, I can come come with within you. one minute of That's what I'm saying is if you're intimidated by the situation or you're afraid, I'm absolutely 100% willing to come meet you wherever you want. Like I said, all we're trying to do is gather the information before we start taking steps in any direction. The more information we have, the better. You understand that? If Did they give you a case number already? Yeah. Yeah. If you want it? Sure. You got it handy? Okay, well, I assume someone asked already, but are you injured at all? I mean, I, when I was uh, punched, I don't think there's any like. Get the information the medical you got it. I doubt it. It was twice right here, I and mean, I can feel it, but I doubt that a bruise would have appeared at this point. So you don't need an ambulance or anything like Well, that, that's, <laughs> that's what we're trying to do, and you're, you're kind of handcuffing me here. That's, you understand what I'm saying? Does the person he's talking to have access to the video that you took? I doubt it now. That would have been gone pretty pretty quickly after the incident. Well, obviously that would be a key right. well, I mean, piece of evidence. I you know, totally like I understand that, and I can produce that for you guys. It's law enforcement know. grade video. It's what I'm trying to do is identify these proof. people, and if and, you're not um, here to do that, then uh, you're kind of here. At some point, then I have access to it, but I mean, you have to look at it from my perspective. The point that I'm dealing with police officers who assault me, I don't know how you guys are going to react, and it's in my interest probably to get that out of. Uh, okay, what, what's the time frame on producing the video? That's probably tomorrow.
or within a few hours. I, mean, I don't know what time it is right now. Like, I, like I said, I'm willing to meet you anywhere you want, so you, you can feel as safe as you want. But if you're not willing to meet with you, know, all you right. Can, so, I what time did you get here tonight? Um, we would have been in the area about 6 p.m. 6 p.m. yesterday. Now. Yes. And then you've been inside the FOP since right. 6 till whenever? Yeah, did. Not since 6, probably since about 11. I'm getting every other word from 11. you now. I'm going to give you back well, to your buddy. For my, myself personally. Yeah. Okay, I'm talking to you. Is he going to be with you? It's a guy who says he's going to debrief his staff. He's Can we get his name and information? I, I can probably give that to you. You, you want me to go ahead and just give them your name and information so they can contact you later? Okay. Can we list him as a witness? Let, you know. Okay. Right, I'm going to give it to him right now. Hold, hold on. It's uh, first name is D I O P. The last name is K A. M is in Mary. A is in Apple U. Does he have a middle name at all, do you know? It does not. As far as I know. Yeah, is he a white or black male? Hispanic? Black male. Black male? Uh huh. What's his date of birth, do you know? I do not. Is he still on the phone? Uh, yeah. Hey, you can give me a DOB. I'll get him out at You said 31658? Okay. What's a home address for him? Um, so far as I know, 4244 West Tennessee Street, Tallahassee, Florida, 30348. He still lives in Florida now? Yeah. So we're, we're here. What's the zip code there? 32304, I, I think. And what's a home phone number for him? Uh, I don't have a home. They probably just use that office number for him too. Does he have, does he have a cell phone number then? Yeah, 850 459 And would anybody else have witnessed the incident? Um, yes. Do you know the names of the people who was there? Um, I can give you one right now. Well, how, how many other potential witnesses are there? I would say potentially up to six. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, what's up? He said four other people. Well, I don't know who they are, so I'll just give it a little bit. Okay, all right. Yeah, there's four other people. I can't, I can't tell you who they are. I, I don't know who it would have been. I know that there was more than four here. I don't know who the four would have been. Is there four people associated with your group or with you, sort of, but you don't know who they are? Well, what I'm saying is that I can tell you that there's more than four people working with me here in the area. He's telling me that there were four people who are potential witnesses to this. I don't know of the people that were with me who the, exactly those four would be. So I couldn't tell you. Well, how many, how many people did you have here six. that it wouldn't? So is it possible all six of them saw something oh, happened? I'm sorry, go ahead. No, yeah, I'm good. I'm coming in the middle. He's legend he got assaulted inside. He was trying to videotape, record, okay. what? All right. Um, okay, hold on. Yeah, all I've got is the four people. I don't have names or anything like that. Right now, he can probably give them to you tomorrow. Okay. Call him tonight. Do you, kn you know the names of the six people over here, though? Um, some of them. Some of them were just people that I met earlier today. Let me just say this. Sure. So you know where I'm coming from, okay. right? Absolutely. You're making a complaint against theoretically police officers here at a police station. He told me that they're right? police officers, yeah. They, they came out of the FOP and they assaulted you in some form or fashion. They damaged some of your property. Obviously, that's an issue, all right? right. It's an issue that we need to investigate, take care of. Right. I'm asking you some pretty general questions and trying to get straight answers from you and you're being fairly evasive. I'm not trying to be evasive. I'm giving you as straightforward information yeah, as I possibly can. And your information isn't all that straightforward. I think, well, I, I'm telling you that you're I don't know. you were here with six people, but you can't give me the six people's names. There are I'm people sure that you, you work, work with, with people that you meet people on the scene that you meet for the first time that day and you might not know their first name. Nah, I'm, telling you, well, we, I, I'm telling you that the, the people that I'm working with, I cannot identify that. them to okay. you right now. And I'm telling you that to be perfectly frank, I've probably given you a lot more. You say that you got video of the incident as it happened, but you can't produce that video now or in any I don't have it. I physically can't. I told you yesterday that I could probably I told you that I could probably produce it tomorrow or today since it's after midnight. And to be perfectly frank with you, I think I've probably given you a lot more information than most assault that you've done. Right. I tend to disagree with you, but okay. Can you hear me? Uh, hold on. All right. 
So beyond the potential four witnesses, was there anybody else besides the two people who Not made contact saw. with you that were standing around in the area? Inside in the, the bar, there were some. Inside the bar, there were some black women. Um, that I didn't know. Hold on a second. Go ahead. Okay, guys. So we, as far as you know, we have no witnesses here, and potentially we don't even know if the suspect's here. Okay, go ahead. Correct. You on speakerphone? Yeah, you're on speakerphone. Okay, two things. Number one, you're not a suspect in a crime. You're a victim reporting a crime. Number two, we're journalists and we're entitled to specific privileges. And if they don't understand this, they can talk to someone down the line and convey it. Well, we don't have to give any more than we've given. We're not being evasive. I'm not going to put up with this. I understand that first of all you were beaten up by the police officer. The officer who arrives on the scene cannot be very sympathetic. And you're not uh, trying to hide anything from them. I'm in control here. I know who was out there. You will provide that information. He can actually stop talking. I can't understand what he's saying. I got the first part about uh Okay, they say they can't understand you. I've repeatedly tried to relay that, so I think we're on the same page. You can actually just turn the cell phone off. Let me just talk to you. Okay. All right. So I got to get off the phone now. So um, I'm just going to talk to you. Okay. Okay. Am I allowed to leave at this point? I'm not being detained. Well, I'd like to ask you some more questions, but if you want to go, that's fine. Okay. So I'm not being detained. All right. They just want to ask me some more questions. You're a victim. Why, well, I don't understand why this guy on the phone thinks I'm okay. treating right. you like a criminal. Okay. They want me to go ahead and go, and they'll follow up. We'll follow up with you guys on the information. You're gonna have to start thinking for yourself for your first second. Okay. You're a victim. That. You're not being detained. Okay, I understand that. Okay, we're trying to investigate a crime. If, it, if it's a police officer, it's the Pope. It doesn't matter. Right. I got okay. you. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks. On Anita Dawn civil Baker. Okay, you there? All right, I'm leaving. I don't think so.